everyone, this is Nicole. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit. Um, <laughs> I have been on a review rampage today. I have already done uh, the Secret Circle series, and I also this morning did the Vampire Diaries um, series. Today I'm going to talk about the last book in the Wake series by Lisa McMahon called Gone. And I just have some exciting news that I just recently went to a book signing in Vero Beach, Florida, and she signed all three of my books, and I'm super just stoked about it. It was so much fun. See, she even wrote my name in there. It's so fun. Um, and she, she wrote these little sayings. Um, this one says, don't dream and drive. And this one says, let me get to it. Dream big. Okay, so let's get started. I absolutely loved Wake and Fade. Um, I did a review on that. If you go, want to go ahead and check that one out. This is the last book. Um, just to show you. This is only good dreams. Anyhow, so we are continuing from Janie's story. Um, Janie has two choices to make and I am going to be doing some spoilers from Wake and Fade so if you have not read Wake and Fade go ahead and X me out of here and go read it okay so but yeah like I said she has two choices to make she can either be with Cable and be outside in the real world and eventually become crippled and blind because um, her her dream catching wears on her body that much that that's what would happen to her or she can live in solitude and not be sucked into people's dreams therefore not getting blind and not getting crippled now the choice seems pretty easy from that standpoint um, especially for a young girl like Janie I mean facing a life of being blind and crippled is not fun and if you didn't have to do that why would you so we continue the story and we find out um, who Janie's father is and what he is and then things get interesting because not only Janie doesn't have those two choices anymore. She has two completely different choices. And those two choices both suck. And neither one of them is good. It's a nasty catch-22. You know, none of the decisions are good. But she has to make a decision. So that is what this book is about. It's about Janie learning who she is, what she can do, what would happen to her if she took this way or that path, and it, it gets really, um, really good in, in this last book. So, another thing Janie worries about is that she will be a burden on Cable, because Cable is lately having really bad nightmares, and they're really like, like horror movie <laughs> nightmares pretty creepy and um, she just she's not sure if she wants to put Cable through that and I believe that Cable loves Janie so much that he wouldn't care and he would be with her no matter what happened and he is pretty much oblivious to this whole whole situation that's going on I mean he knows that she's a dream catcher but he doesn't know the choice that she has to make and and that's kind of where I get frustrated because Janie is trying to take on so much of all these problems that she, and she holds it all in and it's, it's just really frustrated me I mean she, granted she is a very very strong individual and she is very capable of doing anything you know she wants but with this, I really think she should have went to Cable, and he could have talked to her, and he could have, you know, helped her, but she was very stubborn, she's a very stubborn character, and honestly, I'm kind of stubborn, stubborn myself, too, so I can kind of relate to that, 
Um, so unfortunately, I really didn't like the way the story ended. I loved the first two books, and I really did love this book. I just couldn't, I didn't like the way it ended because reading the ending, I have more questions about Janie and Cable and her mother and everything else that went along with that. I had more questions than when I started the series. So, the trilogy, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Honestly, I think Janie is going to make the right decision for herself. She has two sucky choices. Either way, either path that she goes, it's going to end sucky for her. So she might as well stay with Cable, right? That's how I see it. That's how I see Janie in the future. I see her being with Cable. And I really wanted Janie to talk to Cable about what was going on, but that wasn't happening. Uh -oh. So, but definitely awesome series. If you haven't read, yeah. shh, sorry. If you have not read the Wake trilogy, you really need to. Lisa McMahon is an awesome, awesome, awesome author. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's all I have for today. Like I said, if you haven't read these books, go check them out. They're awesome. All right. Bye. Bye. What if we could put our lives on holding me some where inside of the world I would meet you? Would you meet me? Hi.